Hey, <laughs> this is not Motel Granite the Great. This is Motel So Well with a freaky tale in the midnight hours sharing a story from the past. How a woman that I barely knew, some will call her a stranger sends me a message out the blue saying that the man that she's in love with is over to her place. She's walking around nearly naked, shaking it all in his face. He's not paying much attention. But did I mention that he was her ex-husband and she was thinking something different, scratching her head, wondering how her hourglass figure was not even being touched or how this man wasn't even interested. So she sends me a message, calls me a good friend, No, I don't know where that came from. But this is where the story should end. I was talking to a buddy of mine. He said, don't even reply. She didn't send me something that seemed sexy. So I answered, and you know why. As the night went along, and just like the way a little girl's hair get braided, We twisted our stories back and forth, hoping that I would wind up being elated. Learned that the escapade that she was on, she was only looking for attention. I was sitting over there thinking about me and how I could get into something that would be romantic for her, especially since she was missing out. She was bragging about the fact that for 18 years, nobody else ever got any of that. Well, I was thinking to myself, let's go ahead and change the direction. See if me and you can go ahead and get close while you standing there looking naked. If he don't want to apply, I would the same way any other nigga would, trying to take advantage of a situation. See, motel so well. (laughs) But I tell you something that's a fact and something that was strange. When she asked me, did I like her? Was I attracted to her in this game? Me being the fool that I am, gave her a compliment. She took it and rolled off like a horse. And I was standing there holding my emotions on the inside, trying to keep it all together. Laying up under my covers, trying not to yank no leather. Trying to keep it all together. Hoping that even though it was late, I would be able to leave mines and wind up at her place. So I asked her, what is old boy doing? He's sitting there watching TV. She parading around in panties and bra. And she was slightly thinking about me. Not for me to come over there and do any correcting, but just because she said I was a friend, she wanted me to give her a compliment. And that's where the story should end. Unfortunately, it didn't. I kept on being persistent. Asking for something I learned that would never happen. And now I find myself rapping. Should have took my buddy's advice about an hour ago. Going back and forth with her texting. I'm thinking, why don't I come over there about 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning and me and you can be sexing. She said he was sitting there getting ready to fall asleep or maybe he was getting ready to go. 
And I was like, all right, I'm listening to what you're saying. Tell me what happens next for you and Mo. Then, all of a sudden, let me tell you what happened. I sent her a text message to see if I can come over there and start. <laughs> well, anyway, she did to me what I should have did about an hour ago. When I said I would come over there, I didn't hear nothing else from her. No more. <laughs> I love y'all. It's in the dark, but I'm winking.